Good afternoon. We'll be doing part two of chapter one, Nature of Logic. Let us see how men are different from other animals. Men are blessed with the unique ability to reason. This ability to reason makes man different from other animals. Hence, we all can solve puzzles, give proofs, and deduce consequences in life. You can see this puzzle of a cube. What do you exactly do in this puzzle? You assemble one color on one side of the cube. How can you do this? By thinking, analyzing, and understanding. So you are applying logic in solving the puzzle. We also infer, argue, and debate. We are born rational and may not require training to reason, but our reasoning is not always good, correct, or valid. It is sometimes our reasoning is good and sometimes it is bad. You can see this child. He is trying to reason out things and he looks happy on his face because he has come to the correct conclusion. It is necessary that we reason correctly. Logic trains us to think correctly. Reason has applications in all the spheres of human affairs. So the study of logic is important in fields like mathematics. You can see this child. What is he doing? Adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing. He can do this because he is a rational animal and he has the power to reason. Then in science also we reason. That is what the scientists do while performing an experiment or while inventing something or discovering something uses logic or tries to reason out things. Then in computer science also reasoning is important. Then in law, of course, in law reasoning is very, very important. And in our day-to-day -day life, when the housewife goes shopping, she decides which shop to go and whether she should go to the same shop again. And this she does due to her experience by analyzing things. So she is applying logic. Thus, logic helps in all to be successful in life. Hence, all entrance exams have one paper of logic like MPSC, UPSC, CLAT, NET, SET, TET, Bank, law, railway, CA, etc. Now let us see how the word logic has been derived. The word logic is derived from the Greek word logos, means thought. So, etymologically, that is literally, logic is defined as the science of laws of thought. Your thought means the act of thinking, the correct process of thinking and logical thinking allows us to learn and make decisions that will affect our lifestyle. You can see this child, he is in his thoughts, certain questions come to his mind. So, Man being a rational animal, he has certain thoughts. He analyzes those thoughts. There are three types of sciences. Natural science like physics, chemistry, etc. Social science like history, geography, sociology, economics, political science, etc. Third, formal science like mathematics. And logic is also a formal science. Now, etymological definition of logic is not accurate. Why do you think it is not accurate? Because it is too wide and may lead to misunderstanding that logicians study the process of thinking, 
which is incorrect. Thinking process is studied in psychology. What refers to too many activities like remembering, imagining, see this girl imagining, daydreaming, reasoning, etc. But logic is concerned with only reasoning. Your thought means the act of thinking, that is the correct process of thinking. And logical thinking allows us to learn and make decisions that will affect our lifestyle. So, another definition of logic is given. Logic is a science of reasoning. But this definition is also too wide and restricts the study of logic only to reasoning. Logic actually is not interested in studying the process of reasoning. Logicians are concerned with the correctness of the complete process of reasoning. You can see in this process of reasoning, first a question mark means a thought comes to his mind. And he tries to imagine, bring solution to the problem by relating his knowledge to the problem. So, what is he in? All this process, whatever goes on, he is not interested. How correctly he thinks is more important for him in the right direction he has to think and for which logic is necessary. The aim of logic is to train people to reason correctly. Therefore, the main task of logic is to distinguish between good reasoning and bad reasoning. Logic teaches us to recognize bad arguments and make good arguments. Logic is a tool to develop reasonable conclusions based on the given set of data. Logic is free from emotions and deals very specifically with information in its purest form. You can see this picture in this, the child is holding good on one side and bad on the other side. Means he has distinguished between good and bad because he has the power to reason. So, logic is defined by I am OP as the study of methods and principles used to distinguish good, that is correct reasoning from bad, that is incorrect reasoning. This is the practical aspect of logic and this definition is accepted. In this session, we have understood the meaning and definition of logic. In the next class, we will understand the basic concepts in logic.